Hungry? What's next? Oh. Storm is getting worse. I'll get them ready. Need help? I hope Fenrir got some sleep. Maybe he'll be ready to eat when we get home. He is quite sick, Atreus. I know, but he was a little better yesterday. Until he wasn't. If he keeps eating, I'm not giving up on him. Hear that? Yes. Is it her? It is her. The state is not far. Ah! Not again. Get ready. Falcon! Give up that easy, would she? She never does. Stay alert. There she is. Uh, uh, brother. Uh, 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 let go uh, of him. Uh, oh, we've got you. Uh, we've got to get away from her. I'm trying. Up there, what she? Look out. Uh, Dream, they're coming down! That was too close. He's coming around again! I do not wish to fight you! I'm losing my grip here! Protection stave is near. Oh no! Freya, we're not your enemy! Freya, why did you Please don't make me 
make me do this! <laughs> River Stave. We made it. Let us go home. It's Becky. It's Vana. Up. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't take the shot. I did not wish you to. I keep hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. I guess killing Balder really did bring on Fimblewinter. It never stopped snowing after that day. Think it's ever gonna get better? Someday. But the worst is still ahead of us. We must be strong. I got it. I don't hear him. He always says hello. Atreus. Fenrir. You okay, boy? It's okay, boy. You're okay. I know. I missed you, too. Where's your food? Still hungry? Come on, boy. You need to eat. Eat. Why? Too big? He wants to live. He is dying. You're a good boy. A brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. You have to let go. Sofna. Afra. Desu. 
so far. I thought. Sofna. 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 the middle of the night. Night does not stop our enemies. Why? What for? Tranking is all we ever do. Ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. We do not hide. Prepare for a fight for which we are not ready. Oh, go. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with gods. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not know what Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. Look, can I have a moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him? Well, I don't recognize that dour expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh, no. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it. All right, brother. Good night, then.
Kratos? Are you joining me? Are you ready? You walk as though Emir himself sits atop your shoulders. This is your hunt. I will follow. Very well, Grimmels. Fresh kill. At least it didn't suffer. Hmm. Am I to decipher your grunting? Tell me your thoughts. We hunt a predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Shh, shh, shh. Approach slowly. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? Oh. No, don't! <sighs> Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. A problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Gonna make me pick that one up? Mm. Good boy. This way. Atreus. Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. He cannot be far. This has not been opened. No prints this way either. Let's see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. That's most likely where he did the burying. Fire's dwindling now. Where else could he have gone from here? He crawled through here. You seem troubled in your sleep, even for you. Nightmares? I dream of the past. Almost every night. Ah, the bad old days in Greece? No. It feels like Faye is trying to tell me something. You don't mean to say you're talking to ghosts again, brother? No. But it is something more than memory. Hmm. 
Use your words, brother. The tracks stop here. And we're not alone. Check on the protection, Steve. There's a tree up ahead, yeah? Well? You were right. The stave is broken. Explains our trespassers. What happened here? Brother, back there. A dead animal. A struggle? We must find Atreus. Aye. Between the savage beasts and marauding raiders, he may have sought shelter. Follow the trail. We'll find him. Aha! Trail's on the other side of that gap. If you can clear the way. Any idea what could have made the lad wander off? We argued. He accuses me of... Hiding from Odin. Eh, only sensible to keep a low profile after killing three of his kin. A reckoning will come. That is why Atreus must learn to survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Just because the giants had you dead on some wall full of otherwise accurate predictions... I do not believe in prophecies. Well, good. And what do you believe about prophecy, Mimir? I'm skeptical by nature. Though we have seen things that defy explanation. So, speaking as the smartest man alive, I've no bloody idea. <laughs> thinking, brother, that Atreus can handle himself. You've taught him well. So he keeps telling me. <laughs> Torches. And the trail leads into that cave. Well, we know where we are going. I'm sure we can find a quiet way in. Are these the raiders you rescued the wolves from? No. They have not been here long. Perhaps Atreus came here seeking shelter. He kept moving when he saw the raiders, and the bear came barreling after. Impressive rampage, I'll give it that. You think the bear was chasing Atreus? Well, just as likely the bear was hurt and Atreus was chasing it to help. You know the lad. Atreus, where are you?
found that. Prayed Fenrir, and then I'm—I'm I'm not sure. I was so sad, and then I was angry and scared. I remember running. There was a bear. Charging and I charged back. That had to be a dream. Your emotions, they transformed you. Uh, I, I, I didn't know I could do that. taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't that help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. Inaction is also a risk. You taught me that. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! Going to discuss the boy becoming a bear? Yeah, are we? Not now. 
We need to repair the protection stave and get home. What happened to the protection stave? You did. So you're blaming me? I am not blaming you, Atreus. Well, tell your voice that. So, lad, besides your gift of language and hearing creatures' thoughts, are there any other new magical abilities to report? Not really. What of Fenrir? What about him? When he died, you cast a spell. No, I didn't. But I saw light. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Trick of Fimble Winter, perhaps. Seen my share. What's with all the blood? Yours, Atreus. Seriously? That, or any prey you might have been dragging, I suppose. Not sure that makes me feel any better. What? What can we do? Nothing. Nature will take its course. Sometimes I really wish Tyr's temple still worked so we could get out of Midgard. They say Fimble Winter affects all realms, lad. Okay, but how could things be any worse than here? <laughs> hey, Svana. You're not scared. You're a brave girl. Good. Brave girl. That's right. He's good with them. No surprise, really. Specky. You okay? Just a little thunder. That's a good girl. Good girl. Atreus! I'm just checking on... To bed! Yes, sir. As evenings go, that was entirely too eventful. Though I admit it was a bit like old times there, for a the moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened upon patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us. If that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. <sighs> now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning.
I come in? I have me. You would not find me good company. No. I'm sure we'll find lots to talk about. place. You could have told me before I poured. Why are you here? Uh, just uh, being polite. <laughs> you seem like a calm and reasonable person. Say the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah. know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Dying is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. And you're no fun anymore. What do you want? How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you. 
Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for Tyr. Yeah. We know what you've been up to. Stop it. Tyr's old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> that's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. Why should we believe a word of you? What of your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you Snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe. That's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say? No. Don't take all day. Come here. 
become a daddy, get a clean slate. That ain't how it works. You're a destroyer, like me. Oh, no. I say when we're done. I'm not leaving till I see the real you. Get up! God that murdered a pantheon because they heard his feelings. This is the foreign god that in fear of you. He died of the wounds you gave him. Oh, we got a model father here. This feels familiar. What? Don't matter. I can give a hot shit about your fatherly advice. I want to see the god of war. Sons fell to you. Even this lesser version of you. But I am not my sons. And your boy, all father, has plans for him. <laughs> Consider your blood debt paid. Be seeing you. Told you he'd make it. Kratos, it's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. Can we? Oh, now. Odin is with Atreus. Oh no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on then. Ain't a long walk. We must check on Atreus. <laughs> well, good to see you making new friends. Ain't that me old near pack of punch? You know we made that hammer, right? You have mentioned it. I know that. Wasn't ever sure you were listening. Least it was good to see the axe hold her own. Kind of the point after. All set. This will get you home. Hey, one last thing there, Tiny. If you got Aesir at your door, then I reckon your protection staves busted. Once you chase Odin off, you got another place to lay your head tonight? And I don't mean that talking, fella. We will not abandon my home. Oh, yeah? And what's to stop the all-fucker from spying on you? Or Raven pecking your house to splinters while you're asleep in it? Nothing, that's what. 
You go get your boy, and I'll speak to a certain someone about putting you up at his place in a pinch. I was about to look for you. Are you hurt? Are you? What does he want? To uh, pay for the roof. And he invited me to Asgard. Did he? I couldn't hear once he went outside. I told him no. Obviously. Good. Why were you searching for Tyr? If I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth. From me. I wanted to tell you. I really did, but... Now that you know... There's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. Trust! You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin. Or Thor. And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. There's only one way to get them off our backs. And I think I know how. Sir. So we gather your things. Keep the change, you bastard! Where are we going? The old temple in the Wildwoods. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. Did Odin say anything else while you were outside? Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. You think he knows all the giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? <laughs> what happened here? So close to home. Our raiders warring with one another now. Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. Almost to the bridge. <laughs> oh, guess the bridge gave out. Gonna need another path to the temple. Why would you come out this way alone, lad? I had dreams calling me here. <sighs> dreams. <laughs> Whoa. That one's still alive. No. Look closer. Ah, <sighs> Hell Raiders now? Who's doing this? Suppose it's too much to hope that an enemy of theirs would be a friend of ours. Yeah, probably. Hold. 
Whoa! Bloody hell, brother. What was that? Something strong and dangerous. Be on guard. Oh, yeah. Being all the way on guard. Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the Giants and Loki? You mean Tyr? The old god of war in these lands, who is dead. Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the Giants' greatest ally. So... Enough. Uh, that pillar wasn't in the way last time I came. Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the Giants. So he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? You'll see soon. What do you think? I can't imagine what the lads found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Isn't it nice how Fimblewinter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. As if on cue. Your shield's busted, brother. Just keep your feet moving, yeah? It's horns you're blowing! Might be a weak point! The raiders torn out and barging in, and now stalkers playing in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. Father, the shield Mom gave you. Thor damaged it, but now. Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps later. Hmm. Come on, we can get in this way. Why are we here, Atreus? Okay. You remember all those shrines we found, telling the stories of giants? How the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. We found many. I have seen them. Well... There's more to them than we realize. Well, the collapsed pillar is new. But the shrine is just on the other side. Yeah. 
There we go. Come on. You watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati? The wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse. I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir. Can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait! We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No, I found it in one of the other shrines. Others, oh, right. How many have you visited? I, well, all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard, anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. You mention... Black smoke and the bleeding earth. But... We can never figure out exactly... We? Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. it. It wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Black smoke. Bleeding 
Earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the Bleeding Elf? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their minds did belch black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it then. Tears in Svartalfheim somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So? What now? Home. This way. Lad, even if we consider looking for Tyr, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Ah, things collapsing on a regular basis in these parts. Fimble Winter wears down all things, even stone. What's under there, you think? Ah, back to smashing through things for fun and profit. <laughs> Lovely. Maria, did you hear of Odin's offer? To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. But he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. <sighs> Phew! Almost home. Brother, a word. Don't hold the lad's curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Svartalfheim, I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. We'll go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search. For good. All right. You won't be sorry. Kratos! Over here! Sindri! As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? It's been so long. How you've grown! <laughs> uh, oh, <well>, yeah. <sighs> well, if you'll follow me... Brock mentioned he needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <clears throat> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimble Winter, Safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay, then. Your bedrooms are there. The kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Svartalfheim so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? 
<laughs> alive? I mean, that's... What? It's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son disobeying me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was... Something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is it anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Well, come on then. Let's get him something that fits at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. Yeah, I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivanting. Begin with this. Mmm. Busted up good. Hm. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? Found some items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. Thank you. This place is great, Sindri. You built it all yourself? You know it. And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. See? I knew you wanted a snack. Hey, come see. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. It's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your bean, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. 
And he talked funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. I've always wanted to see your home realm. Svartalfheim sounds unique. Svartalfheim? <laughs> Stupid Aesir name. We look like dark elves to you. Oh, right. You call the realm something else. Neither Valir, which is also the name of the capital city and where you should look for Durlin. Damn city so full of Odin fuckers nowadays. It ain't hardly somewhere a self-respecting dwarf would show his face. Harsh, but accurate. You hear that? Are those some kind of dragons? They're so far, I can't tell how big they are. We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So I... Do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a stodding bastard! <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. <laughs> oh! That's it. That's it. Good. Now, release! Still no unpleasant. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Russell of eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just there. That should do it. See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Kratos, throw me at him. Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. Okay, aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nita Valir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck. Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck. Do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything. E everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. Whoa. I can just get it free. I see we're already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have come that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? 
Eyes on the water. They are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. My mother was far better at fishing than I. That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. <clears throat> Think that's sturdy enough to climb? Aye. Good old dwarven craftsmanship. Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's got to be a faster way to get down there. Watch your left! <laughs> There's gotta be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartelfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Oh wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfarm? Aye, lad. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Rock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned. It seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nithavalir. It's too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. Did it! Let's see what it dropped.
halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. <laughs> Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. <laughs> nice one. The block's coming down. What about freezing the geyser under the wheel? <laughs> That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus. Look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellir, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Can we talk we to you for any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or feel. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. <laughs> One less feathery spy. What is it, dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material. Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? 
patience. I find it's best to see these things. Oh, in action. Ah. Uh. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. 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 Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of them here. How was I supposed to know they were there? Skialfa! Left side! Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. But this lockdown really is because of us? Oh, my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of, to keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Excuse me, but we're looking Nothing for... Nothing for you here. I don't care what you want. No food, no encouraging words, no nothing. Please! Sorry to bother you. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to yeah. a subtle means of resistance. Find you! Look out! This looks promising, right? That's well, like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. Uh, 
I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ugh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Chock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. <laughs> what you just picked up there is pure Spartalfine ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Holder of others could craft something from it. Father, what's the biggest thing you've ever fought? I do not know. You can't remember? Why do you ask? I don't know. So we can compare? It is not a competition. I mean, not yet. It's still here. What? The island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it and unlock this door. We need... I need... to set right a very old wrong. I 
How did these rigs come to be? I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. Do you think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. <clears throat> the Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Couldn't you have convinced them not to? Aye. Okay, Mimir. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. Mimir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor, and all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them Better requires... Better pause there. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere. <gasps> you think you could break through the ground from up there? Key we're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? The mining rigs are not the only sin I committed in Svartalfheim. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Where they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. Is that pure Spartalfine slag? Give it here. <laughs> Thanks for grabbing that for us. Can you hear that? No. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. What? So that's the voice I heard. I hoped it would have escaped by now, but we'll need to free it from its restraints. What is 
is this? A Lundbocker. I captured it many years ago. For Odin? Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. This creature, you enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. If you could... Huh? Easy. Easy. That creature's hurting. But we're going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. You're angry with me, aren't you, brother? I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. Enslave the creature. Its fat was a good source of oil. For Odin's lanterns. Oil? For lanterns? Whatever anger you're feeling, whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. That surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made? No. I thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it.
Good. We can reach the tail from this dock. You would still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. must be chained as well. <laughs> Sliding down that rope should take us where we need to go. Encouragement. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face to face, brother? This creature, the mining rigs, their mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. What's the Enough. Deal with Odin's we will continue later. Go on, you great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But... No. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off and scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. It likes the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. Hey, this seems like a good time to try and remember all the terrible stories about Thor and Odin. Okay, there was Thamor, the stonemason. Aye, he quarreled with his son, went into the night to find him, found Thor instead. And there was Thamor's son, Grimthor. Who built the walls of Asgard, and whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir god's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best, but not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. There was Skadi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections, so he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrin the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back. 
and sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, room near the brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. The doors weren't chained up like the Loombacher. Couldn't they quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. <laughs> if they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. <gasps> could call so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You are given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No, but it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Svartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. Mimir, a little while ago you mentioned Odin's raven. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. The air smells a lot cleaner. Must be because we shut down the rigs. We going to Durland's? Hope he'll be happy we fixed those rigs. This is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Durlin. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> here to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Uh. 
best of them are. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, yeah, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Play it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. That head better not be leaking his decay all over my floor. I beg your pardon? Oh, and it talks too. Dino, would you get a load of this? It looks a little familiar too. I've, uh, just got one of those faces. Seems to me that's the only thing you've got. We should go. Okay, as I was saying, I think Derlin wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smell him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah, dear! Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. Yeah. thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. We can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother. can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. Oh, 
Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if... Address! Oh, First one we found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. Down there! I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. Looks like we have to get this one back on the track. is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my life. Keep going. Hmm, hopefully that's it. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two, here we go. Kraken has been gave you a stone. Kraken? Oh, uh, Diener. Yeah, it's covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so. We came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh. That was crazy. 
all of it. You said it, little brother. I think I see a passage. If we can get through this ore. So, wipe the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Look on the ground. Tracks. These must lead into the mine. We'll need to get past this cargo. That's it. Let's head across. I'll head across for a better look. Father, there's a gate up here heading towards the entrance to the mine. If you can get up here, I'll need your help lifting it. If. Oh, come on. You can jump that. Your knees aren't that bad. Atreus. That was close. Try again. I hope you can make that jump. It's another one of those wooden troughs. I wonder how the dwarves thought of stuff like this. Aye, might be the great motivator of convenience. Why do the work when you can get the wet stuff to do it for you? Sure hope tears here. Atreus, we seek information. I know. Stop acting like I'm trying to start a war. Yet you do not say otherwise. Others? Maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? Keep moving. Looks like we found Darlin's mine entrance. Got something else for you. Sindri! What is it? Since you're currently lacking a light source, Sorry, and have no way of seeing exactly what untold horrors lurk in the dark. These will help. Okay, back to your exploring now. Off with you. Thanks, Sindri. Hey, wait, what do you mean by untold horrors? I think this is it. This is the mine. Intriguing. However, we're ill-equipped to do anything with it right now. entrance to the mine is blocked. But there's got to be another way. Maybe this cave will get us in. This way. Nice. Not a dead end. Come on, let's see where this goes. Where are they all coming from? 
I think I can hear the water, too. Slow down, Atreus. Take care. Be ready. So, I think I found where those wretches were coming from. They will overwhelm you quickly. Stay close! <laughs> Maybe we can ride this boat thing further into the mine. Worth a shot. I'm sorry. I know you said not to, but I can't stop thinking about this. We spend all of our time fighting bad stuff, and I don't get why we can't do that alongside Tyr. We do not know him. We saw his shrines. He's a leader. He stood up to Odin when no one else would. If he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? Images from long ago do not tell a whole story. There's a the door. Once we get off this, let's check there for Tyr. He's gotta be close. I can't help but feel like you're angry with me or something. Ever since we got to Sparto Farm, you've been critical of my every move. If you don't think I can lead us, just say so. It is not your competence that is in question. Okay, but what does that mean? Consider your intent. This place is huge. Must have taken ages to build. Another door. We'll have to check that one too. Your instructions do not say which one. Nope. We're on our own here. Your question from before about my intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Brace yourselves, friends. Sindri? Oh. And be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time. There are loose, rusty nails everywhere. Have you seen any signs of Tyr? As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No. I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. I don't know. The water looks pretty clear here. Keyword. Luck. <laughs> would have been a shame to have left... That worked. Let's get to the door. Come on. Here? Well, I certainly don't think this is where Tyr currently is. He, he's got to be here somewhere. This mine is huge. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. That's why we're... Uh, brother, with Fimble Winter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. That's it. Come on. Let's take that lift up. Tear can't be far. <laughs> Okay, new exercise. Let's think about how Tyr's probably feeling locked up in his mind. If I were imprisoned by Odin and finally freed, Odin would obviously be at the top of my list. But I would just want to fight something. Anything. Even if it was just to know I still could.
Left here? Whoa, what happened here? Another empty vault. Ahem. Little brother. Perhaps it's time no, we... No, don't even say it. We're gonna find him. Look, another door on the other side of the cavern. Let's go. Should be clear now. Ready when you are. One more door. That one has to be it. We will see. Atreus, another mental exercise. Would one who spends their life fighting, such as Tyr, have any desire to prove themselves? The proof leaves a wake of destruction. But if the wake of destruction is a bunch of bad guys, why does that matter? You're strong, and you did the right thing. War does Yo. not measure the strength of a man. I hope one day you understand. Wrong. Maybe there's a way to get the platform moving again. Hey, we did it! I'll meet you at the door. We still have to go back and check out that last door, right? Another drug of old brother. Get off fire, Vitor! It will pass! Wanted to the other brother hole, didn't we? Odd. <sighs> That's not what I was ready for. Another dead end. Where could he be? Atreus, this mine is largely abandoned. It is unlikely. Tears here. I know it. Derlin's directly stopped at the entrance to the mine. We just have to keep searching until we find him. You said you'd follow my lead, and I say we keep looking. So knock it off. Watch yourself. I will follow, but I state what I see. You need not agree with me, but you will not speak to me this way. Are we clear? Sir. Damn it! Did you hear that, brothers? I don't think we're alone. Ears open. Eyes up. It came from over here. There's a passage leading out. Atreus, do my words irritate you? It's fine. I get it. Brothers! Wait, is that light up ahead there? Hey, this might be it. That door's barred. They must be trying to keep something in. You don't lock a door like that to secure the spare bedclothes. I see what you must do. Yoko! Oh! <laughs> 
they don't want us in there. This has to be it. Back to it, then. Is this Odin? What game do you play with me now? We're not with Odin. We're the good guys. Blades. I know you. God killer. Have you come for me now? Only to free you. Stay the way. Rather, let me try. Tiar. Tiar. Look. You know me, don't you? You... You killed Mimir! No! No, 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 no! Yeah, we, we brought him right back! Yeah, stay away from me, you monsters! Stop! We need him! Wait! Find your son. Here, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Just leave me alone. Tear, listen, I swear we're not here to hurt you. We're just trying to get, get you away out. From me, please. Take you somewhere safe I away from you. Odin. Show mercy. This is my father. We help people. I don't belong out here, please. It's worse when he's angry. Father! Are you not a soldier? Are you not a leader of men? Master yourself! My son brought us to this place. For you! Look at him! You. Why? You don't know me. I know what you stood for. You helped the giants. 
We're returning the favor. We? We are leaving. Are you coming with us? Here. Your statue in the lake. You had a spear. I thought you needed a weapon. Walking stick? No. A kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But... Okay. I, uh... I, I ran because I don't always know what's real. Sometimes there's a... There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk. We must return home. Can you feel that? A wind, blowing from over here. Maybe there's an exit nearby. Are there names by which I should call you? I'm Atreus. You already know Amir. And that's my father, Kratos. How does the son of a Spartan come to speak for the Jotnar? My mother was the last giant in Midgard. Laufe? Laufe. I remember that name. She tried <laughs> to help people, too. She's in the light of Alphon now. You have my sympathies. Are you okay? These are just much stronger when you're not sitting down. Please, let me get that. It's the least I can do. Whoa. Why risk Odin's wrath to free me? Well, Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No! Um... Um... Sotia, it's good to see you in the flesh again. Mimir, what's become of you? Following in your footsteps. Betrayal, indefinite imprisonment. Execrable torture at the hands of the old father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say my view is a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. The only way to free him was to. Well, that. Highly pleasant for all parties involved. Ah. You okay? The light. It's. It's been so long. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. You said Ragnarok is coming. Which means Baldur. Baldur is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos at... Anyway, I'd promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Amir, speak of Baldur. I was getting to that. It wasn't all kill this, kill that. Hey, we're back in the wetlands. Watch out! No, no, no. It's okay. Got before more creatures attack. You should have taken the spear. Defended yourself. No. I've abjured all violence. But you're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, 
You really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to. Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You, you speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me. I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war, or worse yet, lead you to it, then kill me now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tier we need. We need you. for a good night's rest and maybe some food. I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner. Brother, perhaps now you'd like to finish the story? Uh, the sons of Thor attacked us. We killed them. Baldur tried to kill Freya. I killed him. But you skipped over how we fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the Giants are all gone. And now they called me Loki. I'm finding the shrines the Giants and... are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, they were all... dead. Dead? Do you think Odin... We do not know. I think we're getting out of here not a moment too soon. Whoa, what are those? Reinforcements from Asgard. The Ainhuriar will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. Are they using the sky to travel between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. They're coming down on neither Valir too. Will the dwarves be okay? The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave. Now. Seal. It's been too long. I had forgotten. Beauty. Tyr, in your travels, did you ever hear the giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The giants are... were... a very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. House. Lord Tyr, you're really alive. Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. Well, I'll be. So, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. You hold still. Yep. Oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, dear.
I'm gonna turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tyr. Sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey! Come see what I got for you. I'm sure we won't be interrupted Have any goings on. <laughs> may need time to construct a bed for someone of your scale. Please, don't go. So away. that's what's left of Tyr, huh? Back where I come from, we'd say he's been through a few things. Hmm. So have we all. Well, ain't you philosophical? That's all I can manage. All right. Um, some food. <sighs> Perhaps I'll be able to sleep tonight. Really sleep. The sleep of a free man without the All Father's eye on me. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. I want things to be the way they were. Well, I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so... restless. I care only for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His game is fresh. You expect too much. Ah, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No. I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh. You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting. An old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead. So it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So you know where Freya is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first. And then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? Glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air, is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh, no, I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but... Why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the oarsmen. But 
That's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay. Well, a lot's kinda happened, and I need answers. A chest. Not so easy, huh? Shut up! What's been going on? So, Father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died, but I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. Huh. Oh, uh, lift's broken. Accidental magic's not all. I sort of turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber. Yeah. But I lost control. Brain knows magic better than anyone. Check it out. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It. <gasps> We're blocked. How'd the Arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. Looks dwarven. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? So, Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thor a blood payment. And, well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled, bear rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching... Who said you need to touch them? I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing! Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. Shoot. I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? There! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. It keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you say That's not weird at all.
say? Well, don't let us keep you up or anything. Good talk. <coughs> Ironwood. What do you think it means? It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. Door's frozen. Maybe I can... Ah! So what was your plan, anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is... Yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck! Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. Not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. <sighs> oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. I... Fine. Just step between the realms, then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet Vessel, I wish it did. <gasps> ah. See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Hit the fire pot! Just keep going. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is like a death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living. Living is an option. Okay, now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, that's right. Man, if father could see me now, he would lose it. I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me... Could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Wonder what Mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? Yep, that's the door. 
Hello down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes. I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts. Oh. Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those, too. <laughs> Just be sure to scream if she starts killing you. Thanks. I feel so much better now. Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. should probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? Why am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? 